Kickoff starts now. Do you think the Bears should have targeted a star, maybe instead of getting Robert Quinn, or focus their money more on signing a big name or just a like signing a, a certain bigger cornerback too? Or do you think their approach to this cornerback too was the right approach given the circumstances? So, like I would say, if the Bears had cornerbacks that were injury prone, like if Kyle Fuller was an injury prone cornerback, then what they would have done here was right. Because then they could have put any of those three cornerbacks, whoever doesn't start, and put them in for Kyle Fuller if he was injured. But Kyle Fuller, I wouldn't say, is a relatively injury prone player. He did tear his ACL, but that was a one time injury. And I think that he, I wouldn't call him a relatively injury prone player. And I think that the Bears should have went after a really good player rather than signing multiple to compete. Because like I said, the Bears are winning now. And this depth, and the, the way that they played for this depth, is to find a player who will be best out of a bunch while rather, while rather gambling on it and saying, we hope that this player is amazing. Because this player, the player that they signed the star, has probably more potential than any of those four players possess. Mm-hmm. And the, what, what could the Bears have done with that second-round pick? And what could they have done? They could have improved their team even more. And I just find it interesting that they went through that approach, especially considering, like, if it was, like, the outside linebacker position and they went for the depth, I would still rather them go for a star. But if they went for the depth, I would say, okay, that makes a bit of sense because it's like you have you have Roquan, you have a Robert Quinn, who's a relatively injury-prone player. You have Roquan Smith and Danny Trevathan, who have both been injured. And Khalil Mack, I wouldn't call him an injury-prone player, but he has been injured a few times. Mm-hmm. But for the quarterback position, I'm just a bit confused why they went after that position to add depth. So you're just – wait, can you clarify? You're confused why – I'm confused why cornerback was the position that they were trying to get depth because depth can go for two things, oh. it can have a competition and it can be a, yeah, yeah, yeah. a backup for an injury. No, I understand. But do you think that they're really targeting depth? Like did they, which of those cornerbacks did they sign this year? They got Jalen Johnson, but who else? They signed, they signed, they signed three of them. Well, I, I don't know if they're like from the bears perspective, I don't know if that's depth really. I think that might, they might've just thought that those players are really good, you know? I think that that might have been, like, all that they could have done with their circumstances, really. Like, what other cornerback, two would you think that they could have signed instead that you would have said, oh, that wasn't a depth move. That was, like, a win-now move, as you like to say. A Robert Quinn-esque type of player. I know, but I understand the type of player. But, like, like logistically, like, literally what type of – like, what player? I don't know, but I have maybe a player, James Bradbury, who I think the Giants signed. Players like – there, there are a few players that they could have targeted. Now, I, okay. I, they probably did, but they said there were, we have a few cornerbacks that we like. They all got signed, mm-hmm. and then we have to settle for these cornerbacks. But I'm not necessarily upset. I'm just a bit confused why this was the position that they targeted rather than, like, outside linebacker. Like, why didn't they sign a, a I mean, Robert? This is the position that they targeted to get depth. So they really didn't yeah, target it. Rather than – because it's just very hard to sign two stars. And I feel like if they signed, if they got depth at the at those positions for like outside linebacker and middle linebacker, would have made more sense rather than rather than that. But whatever. Yeah, I, I understand I really, what you're saying, sort of. But also, I, I like I my thought process is that the Bears probably did all they could work with. I don't like I don't think it was like oh you know there's this great player, but we're just not going to take him because we re- would rather have depth. Like I think if there was a great player that they could have had, they would have taken him. Um, so I understand that the approach is a little strange because like the bears like really do need a great cornerback too. But I think that like looking at the players this off season, I don't think that there were a lot of players that they could have brought in instead of what they ended up doing. And since they actually did draft um, cor- a cornerback and pretty high, it wasn't like they took him in the seventh round. I think that I'm pretty satisfied with the bears approach, even though it is pretty nerve wracking that they do not have a solid cornerback too right now. Yeah, I agree. It is a bit nerve-wracking that they don't have, like, a definitive player. Yeah. Um, but hopefully they can work with what they have uh, with Kevin Tolliver or Jalen Johnson or even, you know, Trey Rovers and Artie Burns. Prove me wrong. Like, come in and be amazing. That would be great. Yeah. I mean, better for the Bears. I'm not complaining if they prove me wrong. Yeah. As, as, as long as the Bears get. If you enjoyed this episode of From the Den, please remember to subscribe, comment, and like this video. Or, if you're a Packers fan, remember to dislike and leave a nasty comment. Click the links on the screen to access additional content.